I just want to make a quick video on um, different disc brake setup. So, for instance, here's a, we'll start with the pre-bug. You've got a Yamaha Zuma like this, an older style. You may have the drum brake front end. So, um, on these guys here, you don't have the choice just to add legs in. You have to change the tree, which is in this section here, which we have, and that will accept different forks. So, um, let's start with this guy here. Okay, so you've got a Zuma. You've got either the old, the old uh, drum brake style front end, or maybe you have a new style disc, but you want to go something different. So, this scenario is a little bit different because I have aftermarket wheels on this one, but. Basically on the Zuma, you've got a couple of different size trees. You need to find out what size tree you have first. Give us a call and we can kind of uh, walk you through that. But um, on this one, I've got the NCY legs. So the NCY legs are gonna be same as like RRGS, Adlin style fitment. And what I mean by that is this spacing here. So this is a 12 millimeter leg. When you say 12 millimeter, this axle here, going from one side to the other, that's 12 millimeters. People say 10 or 12 millimeter legs. They're talking about the, di the diameter that the axle is going through here. So, so on the Taiwan fit legs, this spacing here is different than what you would find on like a OEM Honda Dio um, front end, which are 10 millimeters. The so 10 millimeters are the uh, Japanese legs. They're gonna have a different spacing here. So if you buy 10 millimeter legs and you wanna go do disc brake stuff, you need to find all the stuff specific the different adapters and whatnot that um, are made for those specific legs. So it's always easier and um, I, well, depends on what type of connections you have and where you're buying your parts. But 12 millimeter, this is 10 times more common here in the US than 10. 10 is, is not as common. Not saying one's better than the other, but you're just gonna find more parts, more different, adapt your adapters are gonna be easier to find and whatnot. So and same with wheels. Um, your Taiwan wheels are going to be a 12 millimeter axle as well. So make sure when you're putting your stuff together and you're doing your setup, you really need to kind of lay it all out and make sure everything's going to work. That's why I tell guys it's really easiest to go with um, 12 millimeter stuff. If you end up getting a, t a wheel that's a 10 millimeter axle, um, we have spacers and, and you want to go with 12 millimeter legs. We have spacers that fit in here that, that fill in the gap between the 10 and 12 so you can you can use a 10 millimeter axle um, on 12 millimeter legs if you use our spacers. So, so when you're doing this setup, um, your, your rotor, the size of your rotor, this is a 220, needs to match this adapter here. Your caliper doesn't matter, but what needs to, what needs to match, and it doesn't have to be the same brand by any means, but this here, needs to be rated in size for 220 if you're running the 220 rotor. If you're running a 200 rotor, this needs to be a 200, very simple, because this is what's gonna space your caliper out further um, to make up for, for the uh, uh, the size difference. So there's a few different style calipers as well. We've got this, this style here. We've got um, an NCY, so just take a look at how this caliper mounts on this bracket. So this, this, is uh this is an also a, a a taiwan style leg 12 millimeter um and what he's got is he has the ncy um adapter here with an ncy caliper so same style leg same fitment i could literally take this off this whole section off and bolt it right on that other bike they're just plug and play for the most part so this is a 220 uh rotor as well so when you're setting up your custom stuff um what you need to do too is you need to center up your wheel so we sell aluminum spacers here, and you just cut them to size to get your wheel center within your fork. So um, there's a lot of different options on calipers. Uh, honestly, a two pot is fine for 90% of people. Um, kind of thought the four pots were overkill until this bike, I went with the big one on, on here. Um, and this is a Zoom 125 setup, and this is actually a ruckus hub. This is a ruckus hub with a ruckus style wheel and I've machined it to fit the 260 NCY uh, rotor. So this matches, this is meant for 260 because it matches this rotor. So these are the two components that have to match um, in order to get your fitment right. I see a lot of people with questions about um, fitment on different rotors and calipers and whatnot. The main thing is this adapter needs to match the rotor and not brand wise, just the size, what it's meant for. Also, these adapters are not generic. That I mean, there's a ton of different adapters, different sizes. For, for example, these are RRGS legs for Zoom 125, and the spacing um, 
the fit on this is different between OEM and RRGS. So they're all a little bit different. So what I tell guys when you're going for doing brake stuff, just go with, with what works and go with what's simple because uh, if you start mixing and matching a bunch of stuff, it can be a pain in the butt. So if you have any questions, uh, just email us or let us know. But these are some really common calipers you see on the Honda Leads and Dio's and whatnot. Um, they work great for 90% of people. I've never heard of anybody say they're, you know, I mean, you could grab on this hard enough and then flip you over the bars. So um, <laughs> then there's a bunch of different different adapters, but there's tons of different rotors, um, different rotors, 200s, 220s, there's floating rotors, and then a bunch of different adapters as well. So, um, so hopefully that helps kind of explain different brake setups. Here's a uh, front end we did on uh, JJ's big Evo bug eye. Just getting his ignition all dialed in here. But so this is very similar to, this is a uh, 220 rotor. Same as what I'm running on my pre-bug. Same NCY legs with an NCY two pot. Um, also these are our billet shims. So. You can take a you can take a bug eye like this, buy our billet shims, and drop in uh, Ruckus RGS NCY the DO style legs, and then this will all go together. So um, these are 13s. These are um, some wheels we got got for this bike. So so yeah, hopefully that helps kind of shed a little bit of light on on how these brake systems work and um, how they work, how they go together. And then there's got a bunch of different different style of calipers here as well so a bunch of colors and whatnot so you have a ton of options when it comes to um, calipers and this is just another uh, 220 do style adapter that'll fit on just about any of those legs out there minus the zoom 125 so then you've got some bigger big ones for the zoom 125s too so bracket to match so lots of options um, you guys have any questions let us know um, again we have axles and we have a um, bunch of different rotors a bunch of rotors um all the bits and pieces and whatnot and we've done it since we've done it here in the shop we can um walk you through what needs to be done and and uh brake lines and whatnot too so let us know we'll help you guys out thanks